Hey guys, I'm very excited for another episode of Showbot Science. This is your host, Nate. And today we're going to be interviewing Will about chemistry. You may have already seen our other chemistry episode. That wasn't in an actual lab. This time we're in an actual lab. It's going to be a little different from the last chemistry episode, so stay tuned. So, say I'm, I'm going to... And try to like either start a new thing or help someone else with what they're doing. Is there any concerns? In terms of starting a new project in, in my lab, the way that it works is that we get to be really creative. We get to think about something new. We, we go read all of the, the, the chemical journals and we, we try to find something that has not been done before. And, and then we go see if we can figure out a new idea to, to make that happen. And that is one of the most fun parts about what we do is that we know when we're really operating, when we're doing our best science, we are discovering something that no person has ever made or or studied or touched before how when i go up there will i be able to start something new that you will continue working on that might be a little that, we might be rushing into that a little bit because when we do an experiment we do a lot of careful planning first so we don't just walk into the lab and um, and and decide very quickly what to do. We have a plan, and when so we design an experiment often days in advance. We will think about the safety associated with that experiment. We will get all of our materials together, and then and and we'll we'll we will. Um, study again the procedures that we need to follow, and only then will we do an experiment. But when I take you up there, we'll be able to see a couple things. First, we're going to see a lot of experiments in progress, and you're going to see students uh, working in the lab who, who are uh, doing science uh, every day. Uh, and then we will also see a lot of the instruments that we use uh, to do tests on these materials once we al- already have made them. When I'll go up there, do we get to, like, make, what should I expect? Well, a lot of our chemistry happens where not only do we mix things, but we have to control everything uh, about the reaction. And in fact, we can't, a a lot of these things, we can't even do them in air. And so you are gonna see large hoods. And um, so it's basically gonna look like a box. And we do a lot of our chemistry inside these boxes with very fancy glassware where we can add liquids, we can add solids, and we can also pump the air out of a, a out of the uh, the glass, so that we can control every aspect of that reaction. And you'll see little magnetic stir bars stirring these things around, and hot plates and things like that. And then you'll see a, a, a bunch of equipment that is outside of these boxes that we use to evaluate what the result of each experiment is. And so you'll get to see those things, and I think you'll get to see some of our students actually working uh, to set up and evaluate their experiments. So I think we're ready to go up and do some chemistry. Sounds great. All right, so come on in. So... This is an organic chemistry lab, and I, I can tell you a little bit about kind of all the stuff we do. So these cabinets, these are called flammable cabinets, and we've got lots of different chemicals in here. So each bottle is is some other, some new substance that we're working with, and we have thousands of these uh, scattered throughout. And so these cabinets are all piped into the ventilation system, so they're they're all pulling air. Uh, as well, so you're not, you're, we're not really breathing the, uh, 
anything out of these cabinets also. And they're designed such that if there was a fire, these uh, none of the chemicals inside would, would, uh, would burn. And this thing right here, you know what that is? What? You have one in your kitchen. Probably. It's a microwave. But it doesn't look like the microwave that you heat food up in. This is a microwave that we do chemical reactions in. So we set we set a reaction up in uh, in the top there, and we dial in an amount of time, just like you do in your kitchen. And sometimes these microwave reactions work really, really well. So it's a, it's kind of a strange way to do chemistry, but we we do it a fair amount. Looking accurate so far. Right, and I'm... You want to put these alternating lines in there like we've got up there? Basically, I'm drawing like what I'm thinking of something. So Nate, I would call that molecule hexathiobenzene. And that something that already exists? Uh, you know, I can't be sure, but it looks reasonable. If it doesn't exist, I bet it could be made. 